guys, so I thought I would do a stationery haul video today. I've got quite a few new items over the last couple of months and I thought I would just put them all together in a haul to show you everything I've got. And the items are all from different stores so I'll go through where everything is from. So first up I've got a couple of items from Paper Chase and this was given to me um, as a gift by my friend. I absolutely love the design, it's a hardcover list book. So it has a magnetic closure there and it also comes with a pen. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So this side has a clipboard with a pad, a tear off pad here, um, with plenty of room for writing lots of lists or different things on there. Then the other side has a sticky note tear off pad with things to do this week. Then you have these little page flag sticky notes, do it today, favorite task and event. And then another set of sticky notes for things to do that month. And then there's also a little pocket at the bottom here. You could keep receipts or any little important things you've got in there. So it's just a really nice organiser. I would use this as a kind of day planner. So you can use these for forward planning and then you can put your kind of day-to-day -day stuff on here. And I just really, really love this. It was such a nice gift. And this is the second item I have from Paper Chase, which was also a gift. And I've been wanting one of these recipe journals for quite a long time. I feel like I don't do enough cooking and I'd really like to have a recipe book where I can put my own things into it. I find a lot of recipe books that I buy, there's only a few things throughout the book that I'm actually interested in. So I wanted something where I can write all of the recipes that I actually use in one place. So it's a hardback folder and has a ribbon tie at the side. And as you open it up, you've got useful cooking information on that side. It's a ring binder style, and that's one of the things I really like about it, because all of the pages with the recipes on, you can move around throughout the folder. And the tab pages down the side come blank, so you can customise them with the stickers that come with it to make sure that the sections are relevant for the things you like to make. So first up, it has a plastic cover on the front. This is actually like a pocket type thing, but I just think that's really good for keeping the book clean. Um, you could always put this over the page you're using. You can still read the recipe through it and it means it won't get ruined if you're cooking. Obviously things can get onto the book, so that's quite handy. Then there's a few pages at the front which are dinner party planners. So if you're having a dinner party or a special meal that you're making, you can use these sheets to plan that out, which is really good. And this is what the tab pages look like, so they've got this nice pocket. I really love the design of this book and the pink and green colours. If you've um, seen how I do my thumbnails for my vlog videos, you'll know that I absolutely love these colours. So I was really, really pleased with the colour scheme on this. So the main recipe pages look like this and really cute design. You've got plenty of room for writing the ingredients and then the directions for the recipe on the back. So there's plenty of room to write, which in some recipe books can be a problem. So that's really good. And also within each section, they have these plastic wallets with these recipe cards inside. So these are much smaller, so it would perhaps suit quicker recipes. And they've got quite a few of these throughout the book. So you've got the choice of the pink recipe pages or these little recipe cards. So that's really nice as well. So I think I'll probably use these cards for Slimming World recipes and then the pink pages for regular recipes. And that way I can keep them separate, but within the correct section. So that's really useful for me as well. And in the back are these stickers. I'm not entirely sure what these are for, but you could use them for meal planning in your planner. You could even use them for labeling up um, jars, like ingredients and stuff, whatever you want to really. And right at the back here are the clear stickers for customizing the tabs. And the stickers come back off the tabs fairly easily. So if you change your mind, then you can just change them over. And there's plenty of blank ones. You just need a Sharpie to write on there to have your own sections. So next up are a couple of items from Kath Kidston and this is the Disney range which I was so so excited when I received these items as gifts from my work colleagues. They obviously know me very well because I absolutely love the Disney Kath Kidston range and this particular one is the Mickey in London design. So you can see there there's the red bus, the London Eye, Tower Bridge, Buckingham Palace um, with the cute little Mickey design on there. So I really really love this. It's such a cute design. So this is the hardcover notebook and I also have the pen in the same design. I did think the pen would have black ink but it's actually blue, not that that really matters but for some reason I thought it was going to be black. 
and on the inside pages the pages are lined and it has this really cute red and white dot design down the side so it's a really really lovely notebook I just know what I'm like and I hate spoiling notebooks so I end up sometimes not using them which defeats the object I'm determined to use this one I also have a blog post um, which features this book as well as some other items I have from this same Kath Kidston range so I'll link that below Next are a couple of items from the Zoella Lifestyle range. And first up is the Once Upon a Time journal. And I'm not sure how available this is anymore. Someone got me this one for a gift and I've looked it up um, just to see where you could get it from. And it seems to be that there's a bit of a problem uh, with stock or maybe they're not doing it anymore, but you can get it from Amazon. So I will link that below. So it's a really lovely soft feel cover in this really nice gray. And then the text on the front is in rose gold. And you've got the elastic down the side to keep the whole thing closed. So the pages on the inside are lined with this little Z for Zoella at the bottom there. There are a few quote pages throughout the book, um, but they're very few and far between. So there's definitely loads of room to write in this book. And at the back here, it just says the end, which is really cute. And you've got a ribbon there to mark your place. So this would be perfect as a journal, which is what it was designed for. But you could also use it as a notebook or for whatever you wanted, really. And I also have the stationery book from the same range. And again, it's in this nice gray color with the rose gold text. And this is a hard cover. It doesn't feel quite the same as the journal. And it's got a magnetic strip to keep it closed there. And on the inside, you've got the pad on this side, which is just a tear off pad. And this is for planning out your week. So you've got morning and evening, all the days there, and then just next week's goals. So these are handy little sheets just for planning out your whole week. And then on the other side, there's another tear off um, pad, which just says big plans and you could use that for lists. Then you've got sticky notes. These are like little tabs to use, um, would be really good in your planner. And then they've just got some normal sized sticky notes, just saying note to self. You could use those for whatever you want, but they've got this really nice marble design. And I just really like this um, coral and gray color scheme. It's really, really pretty. And I think you can also get this from Amazon. So I will link that below as well. And finally, I just wanted to include my 2017 Erin Condren Life Planner. So I have one of these every year. If you've seen my other videos, you'll know I'm obsessed with Erin Condren. I absolutely love everything that they have. And this year I went for the collage design with my own photos. So I really like this. I've got my favorite Disney pictures on there. So I can just look at these whenever I want. I find with my photos, I take loads, but I don't look at them very often. So it's really nice having these actually on the planner so I can kind of see them as I'm working every day. So that's really nice. And this year I went for the horizontal layout again, but I did go for the neutral colour scheme. Usually I go for the colourful one, but I just thought this would be nice for a change. There's just a tiny bit of colour in the top corners there on the little flag. And then I also use coloured stickers. So I do really like this design. I might try the colourful one again next year just for a change. But I really like the horizontal layout. That really suits me at the moment. And this is what the monthly layout looks like. So you can just see the whole month on one page. And I do have a separate video just on this planner. So I'll link that below. That way you can see the whole thing in much more detail. And I'll also link my referral code below. So you can get $10 off your first purchase with Erin Condren. So I'll link it down in the description box. You just follow the link, sign up for an account with them, and they'll email you a code to get $10 off. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe below to see more stationary videos. I do lots of planner videos and lots of other things as well. So if you're not already subscribed, definitely hit that button below. And as I said before, I'll link any blog posts I have on these items below, as well as all my social media links. And I'll also link my Disney channel below, which is where I have all my vlogs from my Walt Disney World trips, as well as lots of other Disney videos. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you're all having a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.